I'm an artiste. I had all this creative energy just built up inside of me for so long. And now through my talent of art, I've really found a constructive outlet for that. I'd have to say my favorite art type is hyper-realism. I really want my paintings to look just as if a photo was taken. Like you, I don't want you to be able to tell that it was a painting. Um, I want things to be very realistic. I think art in a lot of ways has just changed my life. It's the way I can express myself in so many minute um, and specific detail. Can you show us a photo of your first painting? My first real painting was actually a self-portrait that I did of myself. Last year, um, it took me 127 hours to complete. Um, it's really, it's like, kind of like really important to me because it just like allowed me to let out a lot of like the trauma from my childhood. Um, here it is. <laughs> I used a few different mediums you can see here. Um, this is college rolled paper um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's like gold charm. <laughs> this sold for $500,000 to my grandpa. <laughs> May he rest in peace. <laughs> Can you share any current day projects with us today? You know, I'm pretty big, um, pretty big project for this competition. I really think that this will showcase my talents in artistry and with the process of me painting it today. painting I'm starting by dipping into um, Robin's Egg Blue. It's a scenic shot. I frequently get a lot of questions asking about my technique. I usually just say long, long strokes. Fairly hard, pretty fast. Just like that. <laughs> Done with the background. How many hobbies have you tried before this? Oh, my fair share. Um, I took a dabble into martial arts for a while got really into nunchucks lots of computer hacking i'm on a most wanted list i've ultimately decided on this as a hobby it's a nice maroon color almost like a sigep maroon dare i say what keeps you motivated to continue your passion i'm not really good at anything else i don't really have any other aspirations in life painting's pretty much it for me as you can see i stay motivated by my own work To anyone who's wanting to pick up painting as a passion, what advice would you give to them? I would say don't try. It'll never be a little bit, a little bit messy in that. Just leave it to the professionals, probably. Hmm. It can be tougher, especially when you make the more sophisticated colors, like brown. I think the key to painting that not many people know about is that you can actually wash your brushes off just like that. Uh, gives you more of a clean slate to start again. Yeah, we've been working on this painting for like, I think it must be close to 15 hours. We have a lot of progress in it so far. It's just so tiring when you get to this stage and you have so much to balance, you know? For this scene in particular, I'm trying to get kind of like a, almost a snowy look, but dirty snow. So I dip back into that dirty water and I just start mixing. With me, my style, the more realistic, the better. There's a lot of details in this. There's a lot going on. You know exactly what you're looking at when you see this. There's just no question. By the end, I'm sure you'll all see my reference photo. And then when you see this, you'll be just like amazed that I got it so spot on. Who is your biggest inspiration? Um, I would have to say Bob Ross. I mean, I think a lot of people really find comfort in his painting style. Uh, I, I like his painting style. I think mine's always been a little bit more elevated compared to his. Mine's a little bit more realistic, a little bit more detailed work. Um, but style-wise, I mean, my outfit is pretty much inspired by Bob Ross. Bob Ross-esque. I've been hired by a political candidate, 
Some of you may know him. I won't reveal who it is until the very end, but it's exciting stuff. What do you have to say to all your haters? To my disgusting Aunt Deb haters? Uh, I don't really have any. Um, most people really like me, so I don't have to worry about that. I love nature. I like to bring a lot of precision into my work. Um, trees are something that you just have to spend a lot of time learning to perfect for most people, but for me, I've never had any trouble. What would winning Sig Up Sweetheart mean to you? It's a good question. Um, it's been like, it's been a really long dream of mine. Sorry. I think I just need a second. <laughs> Sorry about that, I just... Winning Sig Up Sweetheart. It's just been like a really long dream of mine. My role model, my big sister, one of my closest friends, Victoria White. She was Sweetheart last year and I think she's just been like a really big motivation for me. Um, there's so many men in Sig Up that I look up to. Peyton, Jack, Beck, love them all. You, okay. I think as sweetheart, one of my main goals would be cookies, frequent cookies for sure. Love to bake them, I love to give them away. In fact, I brought quite a few to Sig Up formal banquet. Another one would be game nights, more regular game nights. I love, love a good game, um, as do the boys. Um, yeah, just lots of, lots of fun times together. Okay. And you know, since my style is so hyper-realistic with details, this individual in particular, who I'm painting, loves to wear really spicy clothing. He loves to kind of zhuzh himself up, specifically with some makeup. And add a little bit of blush on both cheeks. Really make it pop with a gorgeous, gorgeous pink lip because um, it's just once you see it you'll know it you'll just say of course that fits him so so well add a little mascara and this is the final reveal this is the completed look after 1700 hours 15,000 different paint colors lots of time lots of effort but that's what i do to get these hyper realistic Images. Anna, what's the original photo to this painting? Yeah, well, I mean, honestly, looking at this painting, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference, but uh, the original photo is right here. See, it's one of the lovely judges, Peyton Weaver. That's where, uh, precisely, why I, precisely why I added those details on the face to really just capture his essence. Yeah. Um, it's one of my better works, I don't know. I'm not quite sure if it's better than my self-portrait, but it's pretty good, it's pretty good. Something that I just wanna leave the audience with is, my name is Anna McDonald, I'm from Chi Omega, and I am a talented artiste.